Hey everyone, it's Hans and welcome back. So a few weeks ago Logitech reached out and they were curious to know if I was interested in having a look at their latest Ultimate Ears products, most notably the Boom 3 and Mega Boom 3, two brand new portable speakers from the Logitech Ultimate Ears brand and they are absolutely incredible. I'm going to be speaking about both of these today. So for all intent and purpose, the Mega Boom 3 and the Boom 3 are basically identical. The only difference between the two of them is the size, where the Boom 3 is a little bit more portable, but the Mega Boom 3 is obviously bigger and provides proper room filling sound, whereas this one is half room filling, I guess you could say it. With that said, they both kitted out in the most wonderful nylon outer coating, which is waterproof, dustproof, to an extent shockproof. Um, regarding the waterproofing, both speakers are IP67 rated, meaning that they can withstand one meter of water for up to 30 minutes. Although that's not really much of an issue given how both of them float, so you're welcome to take them to the pools, jacuzzis, showers even, Wherever there's water, these things are perfectly fine. The good news is that it dries really quickly. Just a simple shake here and there, and boom, you're good to go for your next session. Um, they're also rubber topped and bottomed, meaning that they can fall and bounce. And now, I didn't abuse these in the way that I possibly would have if it was my own, because they are review units and they need to be returned back to Logitech for other reviewers. But from what I understand, um, they have been designed incredibly well and they are quite sturdy. They're quite like hefty as well. If you have to feel, feel the, the two units, they're very, very, very well built. They have excellent build quality. Both units also have a single rubber strip along the back where at the bottom it lifts up for the micro USB port and the top is, you know, one of those latch, you know, you can latch things onto it. You can hold it on your belt, whatever it is that you want to do, maybe on your bike. That kind of thing. I mean, in terms of buttons, there are two on the front. There's a positive and a negative sign for volume up and down. They can be a little bit difficult to press, but I guess that is the nature of uh, the design. Um, in terms of the rubber on the top and the bottom, the bottom has a proprietary quick charging port, which um, is for an external and extra charging adapter that you could possibly leave in your desk and then just you know put the speaker on it and charge it that way. Um, on the top. There are three buttons. We have the on and off button, we have the utility button, and then we have a pairing button. So the pairing button is to put the speakers into pairing mode so you can pair them with your Bluetooth devices. The activity button is for pausing or playing or skipping songs. So one press to pause, one press to play, double tap to skip, and the on and off button is to turn it on and off. It's really simple and easy to use. Although both speakers are basically identical, the Boom 3 only comes with a micro USB cable, whereas the Mega Boom 3 comes with a micro USB cable as well as a quick charge adapter. Um, neither of them come with the proprietary desktop stand um, for charging, but you know that is an optional extra and it really isn't necessary. In terms of audio quality, they feature 360 degree audio. Now, it's not exactly 360 degrees. Um, from what I've been able to ascertain, there's kind of like a speaker there and there on each opposite side. So although it gives the illusion of a full 360 degrees, it isn't quite there, but the effect is good enough that no matter where you place the speaker, audio quality is excellent from all sides. And it's something that is definitely a positive. Performance-wise, I must say I've been impressed with the Boom 3. It might be small, but its audio performance is stellar. It's on par or perhaps slightly a little bit less in terms of clarity than the, um, the Bose SoundLink Mini. Um, but with that said, given how this one is waterproof, shockproof, etc., I do think it has more of an edge. Uh, battery life is also incredible, lasting a variety of hours. I mean, this thing goes for days despite its size. Of course, the louder you play music on both speakers, the less the battery life. Despite the size, the Boom 3 has more than enough audio oomph to fill a room with music. It might not have the bass of other speakers like the Mega Boom 3, but given the size, I really think that this is, it meets such a good sweet spot. Um, it's ultra portable, it's light, 
It has excellent audio quality for the size. It's waterproof, it's dustproof. Honestly, this is an excellent, excellent speaker. Because I like things that have a lot more oomph, especially when it comes to audio, my preference is the Mega Boom 3. This thing just, it blew me away in, with almost every test. Battery life is phenomenal. It lasted me days of hours of playback per day. Um, it has the kind of oomph that really fills the room up. It's not quite as good as something like a dedicated speaker, like a HomePod, but in terms of, the, of its portability and ruggedness, and so on, it really is an exceptional speaker. So, let's see what it sounds like. Yes, tap to call it quits. The kitchen tap is broken. Drip, 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 drip. Dirty dishes in the sink. We've been laying here for weeks. Same song, same volume, different speaker. Thank you, tap to call it quits. In terms of performance, um, both of them are exceptional. Um, I did find that at max volume, both speakers do tend to distort, especially the Mega Boom 3. So, uh, you know, if you happen to get these, I'd recommend maybe, you know, setting the volume at a good 80%, 85%. And let me tell you, even then, they are more than loud enough for most situations. So pushing it up to 100 is really for those really rare circumstances where you just have to have music to fulfill a room for no other reason than the fact that you just want something really loud. The build quality of both speakers is excellent and Ultimate Ears has said that both speakers have been tested from one and a half meters in terms of drops. <laughs> so they're definitely more rugged than Ultimate Ears and Logitech give them credit for. That's not to say that they're indestructible, but they are built very well and it just means that these are the kinds of speakers that you never have to worry about, no matter what you're doing. And that peace of mind is very difficult to come by in today's day and age with regards to technological devices. I mean, I absolutely adore my iPhone 11 Pro, but the first thing I did was put this thing in a case. Something I must mention with regards to both the Boom 3 and the Mega Boom 3 is they can't really be used for calls because they don't have built-in microphone. The lack of a microphone is not a huge deal breaker for me. Um, I seldom take calls over speakers in any case, and um, with the exception of Apple's continuity, and I can take it via my Mac or my MacBook or iPad, um, but majority of the time I've had to take a call take it normally, um, so I don't really think it's a deal breaker for these kinds of things. Although it would have possibly been nice specifically for the Boom 3 given its portability, but given everything else that it has, I think they're pretty great as they are. As great as these speakers are, there is one small downside. Because of their cylindrical shape, they will roll away if put on any surface that isn't perfectly flat. Although that little clippy bit does help um, to prevent it from just rolling away and abandoned, it, it is still an issue and it is something to be aware of. I also have to say that the Ultimate Ears app is really good. It allows you to power the speakers on and off, adjust volume, pair additional speakers for that awesome party up mode where you can pair up to 150 speakers and it's actually just really well designed. So as great as these speakers are, how much do they cost? Well, the Boom 3 currently has a suggested retail price of 2,999 South African Rand, whereas the Mega Boom 3 has a retail price of 3,999 Rand. Personally speaking, I think that they're priced quite well, given how something like a Bose Soundlink Mini can retail for well above 6-7,000 Rand, including the HomePod, which isn't currently available in South Africa, but certain vendors currently have them imported for about 8,000 to 10,000 Rand, and the, you know, the HomePod cannot be moved from, from your home, given the name HomePod, and the Soundlink Mini isn't waterproof or shockproof or dustproof, whereas these speakers are. Both of these speakers are exceptional in their own right. And if you're looking for the kind of speaker that you can take anywhere and really not have to worry about it, as in it doesn't matter if there's a child playing with it or if you drop it accidentally or it rolls around in the sand or perhaps falls into the ocean, it doesn't matter. These things work. They work exceptionally, exceptionally well. 
for myself, I'm quite sad to have to return both of these. Um, I love the portability of the Boom 3, but the Mega Boom 3's audio quality and battery life make it the winner from my perspective. Do you own any Ultimate Ears products? If you do, be sure to let me know down below. I'm very curious to know what you have and what you like about them, what you don't like about them. One of my personal favorites is actually the, the Wonder Boom. Um, and I do understand a new one has, is coming out, so I'm quite keen to get my hands on that. And if I do, be sure to check out for a video. But until the next time, thanks for tuning in and i uh, see you then. Enough now.